Hello everyone, Skyfall Blind Dreamer here, and today we are going to discuss the importance of Dream Recall. Good day everyone. So Dream Recall, pretty simple, it's just remembering your dreams, right? Well, there's actually a decent bit to it, and I'm not just talking about Dream Recall itself, but Dream Recall is important. It is an important fundamental for lucid dreaming. In fact, it is one of the more underrated fundamentals out there. And the point is quite simple, actually. If you don't remember your dreams, if you don't remember your lucid dreams, it's almost like you never had one in the first place. And the more dreams you remember, not only the better are your chances that you will remember and get a lucid dream, but also you can do things with your dreams. You can learn about your dreams. Your dreams are thus important to you. So I'm going to discuss a few things about Dream Recall, why it's important, what you can do with it. So basically, how many dreams do you have every night? And what is good Dream Recall? Well, Dream Recall, honestly, for people who naturally get it, it can really vary from person to person. I mean, I was one of those people who had good recall. But when I say good recall, I was remembering a dream every day or two before I started lucid dreaming. And that was nothing compared to what I could do. I could remember five, six, seven dreams in a single day. And that is a high level of recall. So the thing is, though, how often do we actually dream? Now, dreams can happen during REM sleep, REM is rapid eye movement, and in REM or non-REM sleep, non-REM dreams are less common, but they do happen. But if we're just looking at REM periods, you have a REM period in every sleep cycle. Sleep cycles last approximately 90 minutes. Looking at an average eight hour night of sleep, that means you will have at least five dreams every night. Five, okay? And with lucid dreaming, it's good to be able to at least remember one of those, at least every night is good. Although the more you can remember, the better your chances are. I cannot stress how important dream recall actually is. And there are things you can do to improve your recall. Recall is not purely based on natural ability. You're not a lost cause if you aren't remembering any dreams at all, or if you're only remembering one dream every so often. You can improve your recall. And on today, I'm going to help you by showing you how you can improve your recall. There are three things I'm going to discuss today. They are dream journaling, setting intentions, and dream delving. So let's get into it. The first of the three methods for dream recall is dream journaling. It's the most popular one out there. You will have heard of it. You'll know what it is if you've watched anything on YouTube or if you've you know, been on any of our communities or forums. You'll know what dream journaling is. Basically recording your dreams. It's pr pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You can use any format you wish. You can use you know, a written physical copy, physical thing. You can use a computer. I'm blind. I personally choose to use um, voice memos on my iPhone for audio recording. I don't dream journal for recall, though. I just do it as a matter of record keeping because I've never actually needed it for recall. But when you're journaling your dreams, what you're actually doing is, one, you're making your dreams a little bit more important to you. You know, they're more important to you. You want to actually note down what you have. But more importantly, you're also giving yourself a record. You're, you're thinking about your dreams while you're doing it. You're helping yourself remember them. And you're giving yourself something you can look back on and go, hey, I, this is what I dreamed. You can look at your dreams. You can study them for more detail. You can learn more about your dreams when you do this. So there are some things that you can do with that. And the next thing I want to go into is setting intentions. All right. So... You may have heard the term intention setting before, you may not, but I guarantee you it is something that you have done. Let's demystify here. It's not something really super complicated or far out there. It's not something that you've never done before. It's simply making a decision to do something in the future. Anytime you've ever decided to do something later, remember to do it, you have set intentions. Intentions use what is called prospective memory, or it's your ability to remember things at a later time or date or to remember to do something. And this basically works by associating your action, whatever you're intending to do, with something else. And this can be temporal. I will visit my friend's house at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Based on a location, I'll remember to get bananas when I'm next to the store. Based on a trigger or event, 
When my dad calls me, I'll tell him a joke. And it can be anything like that, any association. And in this case, if you're trying to set intentions for dream recall, you're trying to associate that I will remember my dreams with a period of time, generally, you would, you would, you know, set an intention that you remember your dreams that night or tonight, for example. But it's a decision. The point is, you've decided to do something. And another thing about intentions is the more important an intention is to you, the more likely you are to remember it. The best intentions are ones that may even have consequences if you fail to do them, but that are, you value, you truly value. They are highly important to you. There's something you really want to do. You really must remember to do it. And you're more likely to remember to do it. You think about it more. It's, it's on your mind. It's something that you are thinking about. And that's basically a brief overview of what intention setting is. So each time you go to bed, simply set an intention, simply decide that you are going to remember your dreams tonight. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. And the final thing I want to discuss today is dream delving. This is actually, I call it the most active method of recall because it's actually trying to utilize your memory each time you wake up to help you better remember your dreams. And this is probably one of the most active things you can do to improve your dream recall. And basically, the reasoning behind this is after you wake up, if you're someone who doesn't remember your dreams well, the moment it's easiest to remember a dream is when you've directly woken from it. And the more time that passes without you thinking about what you dreamed about, the more likely it is that you'll forget it. So with dream delving, what you're doing is when you get up, you ignore anything else. You lay in that position you were when you woke up and you think about what you were last doing, feeling, experiencing, thinking, anything that was just happening to you, that you were just doing or experiencing. And a few things can happen here. You can get a random thought or an idea or an image. I'll give you a funny example from my personal life. I actually was waking up one day and I was trying to think about my dreams. I was basically delving a bit. And the only thing I got was the word bolt cutters. No idea why. No idea where that came from. Why was I thinking about bolt cutters? All I know is that it came from a dream. And this is what dream delving is for. It's to help you try to connect what you're thinking about. Think about your dreams and recall the dream that way. In fact, association is the basis of memory. And if you are able to recall something from a dream, there's a decent chance that when you're when you're thinking about that, it's associated with another part of a dream and it helps you remember. And that's why if you do get an actual scene or something, what you do if you have an actual dream scene that you are th that you can think about, okay, I was here in the kitchen and my dad was trying to teach me Morse code, except he was using monkey pictures instead of dots and dashes and their heads were either pointing up or pointing down. Okay, weird example, not a, not a real one, but you can think about a dream and you try to think about what you're doing before that and trying to use your memory of what you managed to get so far to associate it with what happened before it in the attempt to get more out of it. Oh, there were some aliens that landed in the backyard. We had to run and hide and we had to have a way to communicate that they couldn't understand. So my dad decided we'd use Morse code, but instead of dots and dashes, we'd use monkey pictures instead. <laughs> a little dream logic for you. It's, it's a little fun sometimes to look at your dreams and see what can actually happen. It's It can be really interesting and entertaining when you think about your dreams. But anyway, once you've gotten as much as you can from thinking about your dreams, you record them down immediately. You don't, you know, wait. Generally, if you're someone who struggles with recall, you generally don't want to wait because while the memories are there and they're fresh, that's the best time to record them because if you forget them later, you can look back and go, oh, this is what I dreamed about. And I'll leave you with something else, actually, because there's something that happen, that can happen sometimes. And this is the importance of why I stress association and stuff like this, because memories are truly formed on association. You can have a word or a phrase that will trigger a memory, and dreams are no different. You could just be going on about your day, completely oblivious to dreams that you may have had the night before. Hear a random word or phrase or see it, and then boom, all of a sudden you get a full memory recall. And I've had that happen so many times. It is always an interesting experience but is never one to discount. You can't actually remember dreams that way. And if you do, well, again, just note them down somewhere. 
I'd like to thank all of you for listening to today's video. This has been Skyfall Blind Dreamer. If you found this content useful or helpful, please indicate such by hitting that like button. Beat it into submission, guys. We can't let it stand on its own. And if you would like to be notified of any future content or uploads from this channel, you may hit the subscribe button and you may hit the notification bell as well. And YouTube will notify you of upcoming uploads. If you have something you would like to say, the comment section is open. I try to reply to as many people as I can. I may not get to everyone, but I do my best. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a pleasant day, whoever and wherever you may be.